My name is Dwight Bradshaw. I'm a senior environmental scientist at the Department of Environmental Equality, and we're here today at a building that's undergoing a renovation to discuss asbestos and our regulations regarding asbestos in buildings. Now, uh, many people have the misconception that asbestos is no longer found in buildings, and that's not true. It's, it was very commonly used in buildings that were built before 1990, but you can still get asbestos in building materials that you purchase today and might find in any building anywhere. Uh, the main things you want to be aware of regarding asbestos is that if you have a regulated building, which is anything except a house, that you have to first have an inspection done by an accredited asbestos inspector. And you can find a list of those on our website. And then based on the, the findings of that inspector, they, they look through the entire building, try to find anything that might be asbestos, they sample it and determine whether or not there's asbestos in it. And then based on the type of material and what you're going to do, you, you, your path forward is determined based on that inspection. Uh, the, then at that point, you have to notify us about what you're going to do in the building, whether you're going to do a renovation or a demolition and you have to use a, a licensed asbestos contractor to do the work and then you have to manage the asbestos appropriately, it has to be uh, tracked from the source of the asbestos, who transports it all the way to a landfill that accepts it. Uh, so that's important steps that must be taken with any project that involves asbestos. And what we're going to do today is we're going to look inside and see some types of asbestos containing material and also see how they, the workers go about protecting themselves and protecting people from outside the work area from exposure to asbestos. This is an example of one of the asbestos containing materials that's being removed from this building as part of the remediation project. This is called TSI, or Thermal System Insulation, and it's one of the more hazardous forms of asbestos. It's usually a very high asbestos content. It's used to insulate pipes, and the type of asbestos that's found in it is usually one of the more dangerous types of asbestos, and particularly causing harm to human health. Here's another example of an asbestos containing building material in this building that's being removed as part of the renovation project, and that's these 9 by 9 floor tiles. And whenever you see these 9 by 9 floor tiles in a building, almost 100% of the time those are contain asbestos, and they contain anywhere from 5 to 10% asbestos. And so they have to be removed carefully so you don't release the asbestos fibers into the air. During the process of removing asbestos containing materials from a building, it can release asbestos into the air. So there's a lot of precautions that must be taken during that removal. And this is an example of what is done when you have those dangerous asbestos types like the thermal system insulation that you're going to remove. You have an enclosure that's constructed with uh, machines in it that pull air from the outside into it so that the, and it's filtered through filters so the asbestos can't get out. This is to prevent exposure to anyone outside the area from asbestos. We're going to go in and take a look around. This is where an area that's already been removed. This is what's normally called a negative air machine. It's used to protect people outside the work area from what's going on inside the work area. All the air is drawn in from outside and then filtered through this machine before it's expelled outside. This is an example of an area that's had the thermal system insulation removed. This, this is the piping that's underneath that insulation, so it's all completely clean now. All the asbestos is gone. This is another example of where the, all that is 9 by 9 floor tile we looked at earlier has been removed. All the tile and the mastic that sticks it to the floor has been removed so you only have clean concrete. There's no asbestos left in the room. As stated earlier, when asbestos containing materials are disturbed, asbestos fibers may be released into the air. Therefore, enclosures and specialized equipment are used to prevent the release of asbestos to the outside air and to protect the workers inside the enclosure. Today we showed you two different types of asbestos containing building materials that are going to be removed as part of this renovation of this building. One of them is the thermal system insulation, which is a friable asbestos containing building material, and then also the 9 by 9 floor tile, which is non-friable normally. Uh, the, con the biggest concern is about the friable materials, and what that means when it's friable is it means you can take a piece of it, like this piece of ceiling tile, which is not asbestos, but I'll use it to demonstrate, you take a piece of it and crush it to dust just between your fingers like that. And that's the more dangerous type of asbestos. Now, if you suspect you have asbestos, you do not do that yourself. This is done by an asbestos inspector using the, you know, under control conditions. Don't do it yourself. In addition to industrial facilities and commercial buildings, asbestos may be found in the building materials used in houses. 
particularly houses built before 1990. This illustration indicates the types of building materials that may contain asbestos and where they may be located inside a house. Before cutting, sanding, or moving any of these materials, it is recommended that the homeowner have the materials inspected by an accredited asbestos inspector. If the materials that are disturbed contain asbestos, it is recommended that the homeowner hire a licensed asbestos contractor to remove the asbestos. A list of those accredited asbestos inspectors and licensed asbestos contractors are available through the link at the end of this video. Thank you for joining us today at this uh, building renovation. Uh, for further information regarding the regulations and other links to uh, important information about asbestos, see the information card at the end of this video for links to our website.